Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. This video here, I'll be doing an iPhone 8 screen replacement. As you can see, the front on the bottom right here has a crack on it, and I'd like to replace the screen. So let me go ahead and give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do that. So the first thing you need to do is to remove the two screws at the bottom. The process of this screen replacement is not that difficult. If you take your time and do it slowly and follow step by step, I'm pretty sure you can do it on your own. So the next thing I'll be doing is getting this prying tool. And what I'm doing is to cut the adhesive. So there's a water seal resistant adhesive all around the iPhone 8. Uh, that is to prevent from any water going in or any dust. But to replace the screen, I need to break the seal. And this is prying tool, it's just to pry open the screen and the same time is cutting up the adhesive seal. Alright, as you can see, I have them cut open. And some of the glue or the tape are still intact, but you can just push it away. So at this point, as you can see, the bracket is still intact. You need to go ahead and remove the bracket. And this is a regular Phillips screw. Once you have four screws removed, go ahead and disconnect the battery. And this here is the battery. So once you have the battery disconnected, you can go ahead and remove this two ribbon cable. That is for your LCD and the touch screen. The next step I'll be doing is to remove this bracket here on the top. This is where the front camera and the ear speaker is located. So go ahead and remove it. What I'll do is I will have the um, the tools in the description below where you can buy the screen from or where, the, where you can buy the tools to do this repair on your own. Uh, when you can do the repair on your own, okay? So let me go ahead and pay a little bit more attention on this screw here. It looks like it's a little bit strip. So Okay. I was able to get it out and one of the screw is stuck underneath all right so there's only three screws that holds on to this bracket once you remove the bracket you can just put it on the side the next step is to remove the front camera cable Okay, so there you have it, right? So this is the base and this is the cracked screen. What we want to do is we want to transfer all the components from this screen to the new screen here. So the first thing I'll be doing is to open up the bracket for, your, uh, for the home button. And this one here uses the Y screw. So it's a different screwdriver. Alright, for some reason the screws are very tight, but make sure you, you do not strip the screw. So put a lot of pressure, enough pressure, sorry, not a lot of pressure, enough pressure where you can just firmly twist and unscrew. Alright, so what I did was I un, um, disconnect the home button, and here you want to pay very close attention to, 
okay you do not want to break this home button cable this home button here is only dedicated to your iPhone if you break this home button you would have to use the third-party home button where you would not have the touch ID uh, apply okay so try to be gentle do not break the uh, the cable there is a double-sided adhesive tape right here and it goes underneath and it tape onto the base right here so work your way around it slowly and gently open up that home button all right the next step I'll be doing is um, removing the back plate and this back plate here runs on all the Y screw just so you know that the uh, screen replacement on this um, is not an original OEM from Apple product uh, you would not have the true tone color after you replace it so I just wanted to give you a heads up um, if you want an original OEM screen uh, it's better off for you to go back to Apple but if you're okay with non OEM product um, which doesn't come with the true tone color uh, you can go ahead and buy this third party screen which this is the one here okay so the next thing I'll be doing is removing the bracket that holds on to the front camera and the ear speaker and there are actually few screws as you can see uh, they are not that difficult to do to remove it and the screws are not the same so make sure you have them in a in a proper position where you can transfer with the right screws after okay so once I lift this thing up there the ear speaker will just come right out this is your speaker okay here comes the next part the important part is you want to make sure that you're not breaking any of the cable so you want to go underneath all the way down to the bottom of the base and slightly pry it open uh, it is just double-sided adhesive tape that tape onto this this camera here uh, nothing really special okay so there you have it and then the next step I'll be doing is I'll get out this tweezer and I am going to remove entirely of this okay you can stick it underneath push it all the way in and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to go you see that four little gold dots uh, you want to go underneath that the dots the, the gold plated dots okay like this and you this is one piece all together right so what you want to do is you want to go underneath and to separate away from this phone okay so there you have it and do not forget to transfer this metal plate this metal plate will just come right out because we already unscrew and then here have a slight double-sided tape you just want to stick it in and break it that's it all right so there's a little tape here and on, on the side here all right so you put that broken screen okay on the side here's your new screen so let's go ahead and transfer this to your new screen so go ahead and have it in the right position okay while you're holding it first I'll do is to put the screws so here are all the screws on the side so let's go ahead and screw it in um, what else I wanted to tell you mm. oh yeah so for this 
I do not I'm not going to put the uh, the the adhesive seal that covers the phone from being water resistant or dust free so I'm just going to leave it as is but if you want to have the water resistant seal uh, you need to buy separately they do sell them on eBay or Amazon uh, you can get the seal and put it on but before you put it on I recommend you to remove the old seal the old adhesive all around the iPhone here right so remove it then apply with the new one on it okay but for my case I'm not going to do it I'm just going to use whatever is left over here and continue with the with the phone so all right so the next part here what you want to do is make sure that this align with these two dots there's two little dots here make sure you have them in the in the right position align it okay and you would kind of tape it back on too and this here on the top is your sensor so make sure you have them in the right position uh, make sure it's sit flat okay it feels flat to me it align with the top here the plastic and then you want to get this speaker put it in the right right on top okay where you can put the screws back on too and you can flip this camera back over to that speaker while you're holding this get the bracket and then put it back together okay while you're still holding it on one side go ahead and get your screwdriver and get the screws in the right screws and go ahead and screw it back in make sure you have the screw in the right position the first screw I put it in on the top right is a longer screw the two screw at the bottom is slightly shorter here comes the top left the second top left and this is the shortest one is which is the furthest top left and the bottom left which is also a shorter screw okay once you have that installed the final step I'll be doing is to put this home button first you need to stick the home button from the front okay and align where the screw is okay so the home button will be here you want to go above the connector so flip the connector on the side and let the button cable sit underneath that once you have that in place go ahead and align they are just like a Lego once you ha have them aligned in the right position you can press it in and you would just lock it by itself it's just like a Lego you do not want to force the connector okay so just make sure you have them in the right position and it would just close it on itself okay here's the bracket go ahead and align them in the right position and there are four Y screw that holds onto the bracket So far if you're still watching and following the steps you're almost done I would say maybe about 80% you're almost complete okay so the next step I'll be doing is to move this over to the new screen uh, sorry over to the phone the first thing I'll do is to connect the camera okay and then the next step is to connect the LCD and the uh, digitizer 
again they are just like Lego when you have them in the right position you can feel like it would just snap back onto the connector okay make sure everything is in place do not forget your bracket put the bracket back on here the screws are not the same so this first screw I'm putting is very long followed by the one in the middle followed by this one which is the shortest and there's one furthest to your left alright so the next part would be the top for your camera bracket so have it on here so right now I would say you're 95% done okay So it's now it's 96. Maybe this is the 97 screw. Okay, you're almost there. So to put it back, I recommend you to, you know, there's this two metal bracket. Go ahead and align them in the right position first. Slide it in from the top and then you press it down slowly on the side okay just work your way slowly on the side and if you feel like the phone is sitting in the right position go ahead and turn it on make sure that it powers on oh I think the battery is dead but yeah do not forget to put the two screws back on here and they should have it and you should have a working phone and if you like the video please give me a thumbs up subscribe and i'll make more video for the future thank you for watching bye bye